Roland Sladek is spokesperson for Huawei, E-A-M-A, and he joins us to talk about that company as an emerging brand. Good morning to you, uh, Roland, joining us from our Cape Town studio. Well, it's a brand that I haven't quite uh, got in my consciousness because I pronounced it wrongly before uh, I joined you there. I said Huawei, and it's Huawei, and I've heard that uh, pretty much, but as I said, not burnt into my consciousness yet. But it is certainly a growing brand, and perhaps you can give us the context of where this brand comes from and what its foothold at the moment is and where it's going. Sure. Well, first of all, I'm happy to help you for the pronunciation, so it's pronounced Huawei. Um, you might have not have heard of Huawei or even no, have difficulties pronouncing it, but the matter of fact is Huawei serves one-third of humanity um, in building networks, cloud computing solutions, but also, as you mentioned, as an emerging brand, mobile phones. And as such, it's, it's a quite successful brand, smartphone brand, because not so long ago, a couple of weeks ago, Huawei was the first Chinese company to enter the top 100 interbrand list, um, very, very selective brands, um, and um, the Huawei is um, also very, very important. In Africa, with one of the fastest growing smartphone brands, um, the last statistics I've seen, Huawei is the number two uh, top smartphone brand in Africa. Now, Roland, uh, it's a crowded market. There are lots of smartphones. Uh, not only is it a crowded market in terms of brands, it's crowded in the number of variations on the technology, on new models, uh, companies having to get ahead of the pack to try and get the attention of the market. So uh, a relative newcomer to Africa, what kind of things are you doing to make this happen? Well, first of all, Huawei has been in Africa for quite some time, actually. We have been in Africa for more than 15 years, so one of the longest standing sort of Chinese companies in Africa. Um, to date, we have more than 7,000 employees in Africa, so quite long commitment and, and long, long standing investment in, in Africa. In terms of brand, you're right, actually. So Huawei does not try to position itself on the lower end, but really clearly on the mid to high end. And what we're doing, we're launching uh, mobile phones, really successful um, high-end mobile phones, like the one that I, that I have here, for example, um, which we'll be launching officially tomorrow, actually, um, for the South African market. And that's how Huawei tries sort of to you know, make, uh, make its name, actually, by having good value uh, mobile phones comparable with the best in the world. Um, for its African consumers. Well, they're all going to say that it's good value uh, and high quality. But uh, again, how do you get the attention? And uh, can you give us an idea of what kind of numbers are involved in the business uh, in South Africa? What's the marketing spend? Uh, what kind of campaigns are you going to be mounting? Well, I mean, it, it's a mixture of several things. I mean, first of all, um, no, no normal communication, talking to the to media like like uh, what I'm doing here, but also sponsorship is very important. So I'm here right now in in Cape Town, where for example we sponsor the Ajax uh, Football Club. Um, you no know, sponsorship, which increase our um, you know, brand awareness in in Cape Town, but also sort of in the um, uh, in, in in the region here. In right terms of numbers, yeah. I can give you two numbers. Uh, for example, Huawei um, has been selling or aims to sell one million smartphones this year in Africa, uh, in South Africa, sorry. And next year, we aim to double this, uh, this figure. So we aim to sell two, two million smartphones in Africa, um, so w which makes us one of the most popular brands. Um, I can't remember number three, number four, depending on, on which statistics you're, you're looking at. But clearly, sort of an, an upcoming brand mid to high end, and that's how we position ourselves. Roland, what's your background and uh, your route into this uh, business? My personal background yeah. or Huawei's background? Yeah, your personal background. So I worked before that, I worked for a semiconductor company, um, which is basically a company doing all the inside of the mobile phone. Uh, the chipsets, uh, the modems, the connectivity of a mobile phone. Um, because, I mean, the design is very, very important, but the inside of a mobile phone is actually more important uh, because that's really the added value that, that you're providing to, to consumers. And the interesting part of Huawei is actually Huawei does actually both the outside, the design, but also the inside, the chipsets. And that's quite unique. I mean, nobody else is actually able to do that. Um, Apple is trying, to, is trying to do this to a certain extent, Samsung as well, but that's, uh, that's it basically. The only these three brands who can actually do this. Um, and that gives us a cutting edge in terms of no, being faster to market, understanding consumers changes um, faster than the competitors, actually integrating to new solutions and basically having new phone out every six months. 
Well, thanks to Roland Sladek. He's the spokesperson for Huawei EAMA.